Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing some live coding. I don't usually do that on this channel, but I'm going to be coding music and that's what I do on this channel. A friend of mine that's a musician actually shared this with me because they know that I'm a software engineer and I'm going to attempt to make, um, I think a trap beat with Sonic Pi. That's the software that I'm using. I'm gonna make a samples folder, so I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm gonna look for the samples that I want because they don't really have trap sounding samples um, in the software, but you can import your own samples. So let me grab that really quick. Drums. I know I'm duplicating them, but I just feel like this will make my life easier down the road. Um, and I believe you can just drag the samples into Sonic and it'll write the code that you need. So give me a second. It gives you the, the path. Okay, so let me see which ones I want to use. Alright, so now that I have the paths, I'm not sure how you create the variable. So, let me look that up. Alright, so this is the documentation. Let's see, external samples. Sample, and then the file. But I wanna create a variable so I can reuse it. So. Samps equals, all right, let's see if that works. Okay, so sample equals, well, I'm gonna call it kick equals, crash equals, hat equals, and then snare equals, clap equals. It worked. All right, so it's that simple. Let's start making some loops. I'm gonna start off with the drum loop because I wanna figure that out first. So I'm gonna do live loop. This is the name. So kick, do, and end to end the block. And then I wanna play the kick sample and I'm gonna sleep. Okay, so this sleep amount really depends on the BPM-ish. It's by like by beats. Um, but let me set the BPM because I forgot to do that. So we're gonna do 145. So kick, then sleep for five, then kick again, and then sleep for three. Let's hear that. Let's make another live loop. We're gonna do sleep for two, sample snare, sleep, Okay, so we have the kick and the snare. 
let's um let's bring in like a sample so that we have some melodic element here let's see what other sample I can use So I like that. I think I'm going to add some effects onto that. Let me see. With effects. I really like this slicer one. I think it's because I never do it in my music. So. Alright, I'm gonna add a bass. Let's go ahead and find an 808 sample. You can name a variable a number, so I'm gonna name it 808. Alright. Alright, cool. So, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so it's gonna be sample 808. It's hard to do this by ear. Um, negative four, sleep two, sleep four. Let me see. Oh, 
it's for. So it's going to be Okay, so sample 8 808 R pitch negative 1 sample 808 R pitch negative 2 Okay, so I'm gonna see if there's another sample that I can use to kind of fill it up. Something that's a little lower, um, like a pad or something. And then I'll add the hi-hats and we'll be pretty much done. Ambi drone, sleep four, let's see. Okay, it is going to work, so let's go ahead and add the correct notes. And let's see how that sounds. I totally added the wrong note and the wrong sleep time. Okay, so I want the drone to be quieter than the sample so I'm gonna do amplitude 0 0.8 all right it can be softer than the I'm going to increase the cutoff of the sample so it sounds a little better. And then I'm going to add a cutoff to the pad. Thank you. 
This was kind of like a tutorial-ish video. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials like this or if you want to just see me in the process beat making or whatever. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think about Sonic Pie. I'm super excited about this. I'm ready to join the Algo Rave community. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.